Celebrating Ramadan in the street, Muslims in New Jersey say they've been forced to adjust after getting locked out of their mosque. It's the first time in four decades they haven't been able to go inside. And they say they've been blindsided by the whole thing. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is in Newark. Muslims pray and share a meal on the sidewalk outside their shuttered mosque in Newark. This is a whole community. This building was an ecosystem. The Branford Mosque has been in this 11-story building for 40 years. In December, the Islamic Society of Essex County sold the property. Congregants say they had no idea until the door was padlocked. If we did have knowledge about that, We'll stop this from day one. This is our little home away from home. This week began the holy month of Ramadan, when this community would typically pray and break fast together inside the mosque every night. And we're not going to stop them because we don't have a place. No, we're going to protest by peacefully gathering where we would be. Congregants filed a lawsuit against the Islamic Society, but their court date is in May, after Ramadan ends. No matter the weather, no matter the day, the night, anything like that, we're out here because we know that in our hearts, it's open to the community. A spokesman for Paramount Assets, which bought the property, told us they have offered to undo the transaction if the Islamic Society is willing to discuss it, but that has not happened yet. Our being here is a statement that we haven't lost faith in what we believe in. We've reached out repeatedly to the Islamic Society of Essex County, but so far nobody has gotten back to us. In Newark, New Jersey, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.